folks this is events with green joe coffee school and today i have alex on board and alex just launched her coffee trailer so we're going to be discussing a little bit about her journey hi alex you want to kind of introduce yourself and let these good folks know where you are and where you're from um i'm alex i am the owner of mount Airy mocha which is a mobile coffee bar in frederick maryland so you're part of our master class and you you just officially launched and so let's when the first question is when did this all start when did the idea of launching a coffee trailer pop into your head last november like end of november right around thanksgiving time my husband out of nowhere was like let's start a hot dog truck and i was like what hot dogs <laughs> okay like we like hot dogs that's cool but then i the more i thought about it over the next like week or two it was like real food is going to be like a lot more effort with his horrible work schedule he's not gonna be able to help me very often you know like what is something that i can do by myself and yeah. I worked at a starbucks for 10 years up until very recently and i was like i could totally do that on my own and there's okay. a lot less waste and a lot less like overhead and all that kind of stuff and prep that's what we should do and that okay. way it's not around I can okay. handle that. So a year ago, he brought in this idea of a, a hot dog. Well, okay, help me with that. Where, where did that come from? I don't know. I have no <laughs> idea. I don't know. I feel like I probably was saying like, I can't afford Christmas presents and, you know, like work won't give me a big enough raise or something like that. Yeah, and okay. he probably was just like, oh, food trucks are fun. Let's have a hot dog truck. Okay. Like, oh, gotcha. that's okay. probably how it went. <laughs> so had you guys been in business before? Was there any other things that you had started previous to this? I used to run a laser engraving business. So I did that out of the house. That was fun, but I'm very much over going to craft shows with like a ton of stuff and lugging it around and hoping people want it. And then people like it, but they want to order some custom because they don't like a color or sure. something. And now I still have to take all this stuff back home. I can't tell you how many tumblers and like Christmas ornaments and stuff I still have out in my shed. But like, <laughs> I don't want to throw them away. They're nice, but like, yeah. I don't know what to do with them. I don't need 80 Stanley sized cups. Like, sure. <laughs> everyone's getting a Stanley this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So you had some experience with vending already and kind mm -hmm. of like a side hustle type of thing. Mm -hmm. So that's good because that at least gives you an idea on how some of the atmosphere is and what logistically it looks like to you know, break things down, set things up, get into events, you know, talk with people, interact, process mm -hmm. the transaction, that type of stuff. When you thought of opening the coffee business, was this a feeder to the craft business or did you separate those two? I separated them. So I kind of had a feeling that I was just going to stop doing the laser stuff. Like I still do it for people randomly here and there. I was like, after last year, I'm not going to do craft shows anymore. I'm just going to do things for myself, make cute yeah. stuff for my house and, you know, have fun with it because I was going to close that business anyway. Yeah. I did that at the beginning of January and a week later, I officially like opened as far as like the state is concerned. I opened up the Mount Airy Mocha business. Gotcha. So they really were two totally separate things. The okay. money from the one, the laser business did definitely go towards paying for uh, my trailer. Yeah. But I mean, that was like not a substantial amount of money. Okay. Right. Okay. Gotcha. But other than so that, there was some were... bleed over. Gotcha. Okay. You decided to, so the idea came up in November. You started in January mm -hmm. is when you, is when you started. Okay. My soft opening with like just friends and family, very, very yeah like private in case I screwed up um, was the end of June. And my first weekend out was whatever that first weekend was in July. <laughs> so, all right. So we're looking at from official business licensing to soft opening five and a half months. Is that what I'm kind of hearing? Yeah, probably. About that. Yeah. Five and a half months. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. What was the greatest delay in that? The health department. The health department. Okay. And the trailer. Getting the trailer took a long time. It's amazing. I love my trailer. Yeah. Totally worth it now that I have it. But the whole time I was just like, are you ready yet? Are you done? Can I come get it? But gotcha. I yeah, got okay. It. And then the sure. next biggest hurdle was all the health department stuff. Mostly because in our place, the plan review lady, she does the, like all of them apparently. You know, she's not just doing my thing or like one or two others. She's doing 10 or 15 at a time. So she mm. would only answer maybe once a week. So even though I got an answer to her when she asked a question, I would get an answer to her within an hour most of the time. I think there was one time it took me three hours. Mm -hmm. but other than that, 
and then it would I would wait four or five days before I got a response from her again. I see. So half of it is the build out of the trailer and the other half was just Waiting. a restriction point at the health department. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you joined the master class before you had the trailer. Yeah. I think I joined it in like January or February. Okay. What was, what was the catalyst for that? What was kind of your thought process when you decided to come, come on board? I saw a bunch of your comments on things on Facebook. I watched several of your videos because there's, for whatever reason, coffee trailers are not very popular on YouTube. So there's very few people that, you know, if you find somebody that has a coffee trailer and consistently makes videos about it, yeah. that you can actually follow and you are one of them. So between those two things, I think I, I bought your ebook or whatever first. And okay. then you called me to thank me for buying the ebook. And you're like, by the way, I also do this master class and you get a discount on certain equipment and you can learn some things and we meet like twice a week. And I, after being off, getting off the phone with you, I was like, wow, that sounds like it might be worth it. Like the amount of money that I paid to be in the class was definitely less than what I uh, saved buying my machine. So like my, oh, gotcha. so it was off. The class was offset just yeah. by the wholesale discount at the machine. Yeah. yeah, yeah it gotcha. was okay. quite a bit higher without you <laughs> so the the first introduction was youtube videos mm -hmm. and then from there just kind of like in the facebook forums mm -hmm. and then you started the class okay so then you went to the ebooks yeah you i read through that class. and like two weeks later i think i signed up for the class okay gotcha in terms of the class from an outside perspective what have been the assets that have helped you along the way most like you know, obviously we got the discount on the espresso machine, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Where have you pulled from the class? Was it the curriculum? Was it the one-on-one? -on -one? Was it the group setting? Like, what do you feel has been the biggest payout for you? The group things, like the group classes, because there's a lot of weird little things that like other people would ask that I didn't think of at all until after they asked it. And I was like, oh, Maybe I should consider that too, as far as oh, maybe gotcha. like layout of the trailer or weird questions that somebody asked the health department or got a weird question from the health department about that I decided I should probably look into before I even bother, you know, talking to them. Yeah. Yeah. So that makes sense. Those are big ones. That makes sense. I mean, for me, it's been such a blessing having so many smart minds in our class at at one time i mean when travis was in there before he launched mm -hmm. he's just like a coffee guru you know and that's been amazing and um, megan is incredible with questions she's been really yeah. good and it's really nice for me because i get the opportunity to learn like the ins and outs of each individual little county and state you know mm -hmm. and i don't see anybody else doing that so i'm like oh sweet okay so that <laughs> helps my game a little bit here you know <laughs> you know you know so much more about the frederick health department and all that than i think most people in frederick do <laughs> right right it's like now okay now i know okay frederick county air gaps got it you know like, yes. <laughs> <right. Keep it laughs> air gaps. Uh, for folks that are looking on launching what have been like the, the biggest obstacles for you like looking back you hired someone to build the trailer to to do the trailer for you but you did your own cabinets and what else did you put in i did the cabinets and the countertops and i installed all the equipment and i think that's it he did all the flooring the walls the ceilings all the plumbing he did half of the plumbing he did all the plumbing that's within the cabinet so he put in the tanks and he did all the plumbing to the three compartment sinks and okay. the hand sink and then once i got it I drilled the hole into the front of the cabinet so I could connect the rest of the plumbing stuff that needed to be done to what yeah. was already existing when I got it. From that cabinet, it now has a one each direction. Okay. Uh, pipes that go to the espresso machine and the water, like glass filler, the ice bin, all that kind of yeah. stuff. So you're, you're a little bit of a hybrid of yeah. doing it yourself <laughs> and hiring a contractor. Mm -hmm. Kind of a, 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 I mean, the way you did this was incredibly well thought out essentially when you when you look at this what we're doing is we're taking the resources that we have at our disposal and we're pivoting the model of the the business model or the the logistics of the build out to allow those strengths to kind of shine say okay mm -hmm. we have these resources let's use them sometimes i get some folks they'll say well you know should i buy you should i buy new how should i buy and i talk to them and i find out like their husband's a general contractor 
And I'm like, why are we even talking about buying it? You should, you know, like you had a husband that's a general contractor, unless he's incredibly busy, you know, let's have his guys start working on this thing for you. So using what you have, I think it's, is super, super well thought out. So you just launched, um, you're keeping your full-time job. This is uh, mainly a, a side hustle for you. How are things going? They're going good. I think it's good. It's good. <laughs> On a, on a scale from one to 10, like how far are you booked out? Are you seeing profit? Like when? I am booked out every single weekend up until halfway through November right now. And I have several things like just on Saturday or just on Sunday or whatever up until almost right up until Christmas. I have like a few days here and there that are off that I'll just set up at my house. I'm booked out pretty much for the rest of the year, I guess. Money wise, it's going good. I think like, I don't know compared to other people sure. what they're doing, but yeah. the first day that I went out, I think I made like maybe a hundred dollars. I thought, Oh my God, this is amazing. hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like how cool. And then today in four hours, just sitting outside of my house this morning, cause I live on a busy road. I did almost $300. Oh wow! Was, okay. but yeah, that was my final number this morning. Okay, it was that's like right. it was like two eighty something, I think, oh, and that cool. was only from five to nine o'clock in the morning. Five to nine. Okay. So, oh, okay. So my whole day if I didn't have to do work afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so that the other making money. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Cool. No, that's great. Anybody that's watching this in the future and they're, you know, kind of thinking about getting into coffee trucking, co coffee trailers, even coffee garden. What are some of the tips that you could throw their way that you, if looking back, if you would have known this ahead of time, would help you either logistically with time or financially with money? Don't buy so many things. I'm a, I'm an over buyer because I, I am like super prepared that I am too prepared for things. Oh, and so yeah. I buy a lot of stuff that like I don't really need. Quite right. a few things that I could have returned to Amazon but I forgot to do it within the 30 days okay. or I ordered stuff so early before I even got my trailer and had a chance to put the stuff in there to realize I don't really need this. That not so much like equipment, my equipment is fine. Like the weird little things, like yeah. a, a thing that goes on the wall to hold spoons, you know, like right. something weird like that where I really didn't need it. Cause I ended up just putting them in a cup all the time anyway, $10 there and then another 10 somewhere else. And we we call that cut to measure um in 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 our shop well it has been an honor thank you so much alex for you're welcome for, i really appreciate it i will be posting this probably to youtube and um to the to uh the web page and stuff so um if folks are interested in finding out more from you how can they reach you i am at mount airy mocha on everything so it's at m t a i r y mocha all one word Okay. And that's Instagram and Facebook. Instagram, and... Facebook. Awesome. Awesome. Then I will stop this recording for now. And thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Alex. Appreciate You're welcome. It.